smoking big shit over here, Grave Street. Hey yo, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Mac Eats. I'm your lovely host, China Mac. And today, we in LA, but we not in any part of LA. We in Jordan Down projects not anybody could come over here but mac eats i brought y'all here we here we about to pull up on my god powder watts we about to pull up on compton menace they're about to show us the people they're about to show us the food they're about to show us the culture they're about to show us the stories that are in this culture right so i can't wait to taste their food because i know they got fire food and let's get it man let's get it i'm starving right now Bow. see that good chicken oh look at that motherfucker Good eats. Oh, he's so ready. Big Beasy Gang, Peter Rowe Mafia, man. I'm Gio. Yeah, man. Watch the video. Like WBG. Grace on the vine. Get it, Mike. Get it. Let me go. Oh, wow. This is my, this, this this my right, real G homie. What's up, boy? I got to go. What's up, China Mac? I'm sort of. All right. This is this, this yeah. my big homie right yeah. here, man. For real. Yeah. Man. Yeah, 31 years. Yeah, 31 man. years, man, yeah. behind that place, man. man. Never Welcome been, home, never fold. Welcome home. I'm gonna to go home. back. Oh, I can't. I can't. I yeah. can't go back. I yeah. gotta stay here with my family. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Some family right here. Powder Watts. What's up? What's, What's up? What's going on, my brother? What's the deal? Yo, thank you for having us over here, man. You know, I know this this neighborhood right here. What, what neighborhood is this? We, we right now, we in a joint down projects, the home of the Grape Streets. Uh huh. And I know usually, you know, people can't come over here and just shoot and just be a part of this neighborhood. So thank you for allowing us to come out here. So we all know this is the 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 the, the place where the movie, uh, what movie was that? Minister Society. Minister Society. It's took place right here. here. Right here. Oh, 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 shit. Don't ask that food. Rush it, nigga. Rush it. Hell yes. Right, so in that movie, you know, I mean, you know, a lot of stuff was going on. I could see the neighborhood from that movie, but what else do we have going on in this neighborhood? Not from just that picture of, of that movie, just painting the picture. Uh -huh. We also got some good leadership in this hood. Uh -huh. Right now, I want to take you to the spot, man, where, they, where we cook. It ain't just about ball players, good athletes. We got good chefs around here. Right. So the food is good out here. Man, you gonna try it yourself. We gonna try it. Thank you, bro. Let's get it. Let's get it. What's up? Maggie's, let's go. What's up? What's going on? OSB, GT, you already know the deal. It's who kid. We here live in the joint down. Uh -huh. I mean, I was just telling him when we just got to playing ball, so now after y'all ball, mm. we go eat L4, get some good yeah, food. Yeah, that's what we do, man. L4 Cafe right here. Come on down, man. The best in town, you hear me? Season to perfection. You can't get it nowhere else. Whatever you need, he got it. Come on and get it. Follow the gram and all that. L4 Cafe on Instagram. Go mm -hmm. get it. That's us at the, uh, you know, we took the kids to the game. We went to the stable center and watched the game. That's us. We had a private, private room for the kids. So we just pushing like that. The kids had to sell. We, we, we few, of, few of my peoples from my community, we had put our money together. From cooking to my people selling shirts and sweaters, all our folks put our money together. And then we're going to look out for the kids. L4 cap, but that's that's somebody's house. That's somebody's house. It's a unit inside the projects, man. You get down to good cook, good food. So why why, why y'all be doing it out the houses and stuff? It's a two for one. You know, use the resources that we have. Uh -huh. And we still go, uh, provide for the community. Uh -huh. So they don't have to go over here. They don't got to, a lot of people don't have transportation right. to go over there. Gas prices is ridiculous. And gas prices are high. High as right. giraffe puss. So people be selling food right here. You can get the you can get the food that you want to eat right here in the comfort of your own neighborhood. And it's something positive for the neighborhood or something. Exactly. Right. They serving Elfo. it right out the right out, They serving it right out the, right out the spot. Nice to meet you, my brother. Nice to meet you too as well. So what you got going on over here? Oh man, I'm just working, working, man. Trying to grind, man. Trying to motivate the community, man. That, you feel me? Shit, there's other other ways to express to get money. Not always, you feel me? Violence and the wrong ways to get money, you feel me? Cause I done been in the street too as well. And right. you feel me? I didn't serve time and it ain't getting me nowhere. So I'm trying something different. Mm. And the cafe kind of saved my life, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be knowing what I'd be doing right now if I ain't have my business and my cafe, to be honest. Right. So you born and raised out here? Yeah, born and raised, born and raised since forever. Since How hard was it coming up out here? Hard? Oh, it's hard. It's hard, man. It's kind of hard. 
feel me? Every man for itself. Um, it's a lot of distractions. Not too much, too much support from everywhere because, you know, we all go through things and it's a lot, a lot of things we handle, you know, within just ups and downs of the community and stuff right. like that. So, and I'm right. trying to motivate the youth as well, you feel me, not to fall victim. So that's why I try to focus on being positive and productive all the time to just stand busy. I oh, see you yeah, making, what you making on? Right now I got the French toasts and all that going on. I got French five different with the, flavors. With the, with the, with the fruity yeah, pebbles. With the fruity pebbles. Ooh. French toast with the fruity with pebbles? The fruity pebbles. Boy, season down to perfection. <laughs> so I'm finna put the eggs, bake uh, over easy eggs, season it down with a little bit of gay, uh, car, uh, with a little bit of garlic. Cajun seasoning to give it a little spice. Uh -huh. um, also bacon, cheese, and sausage as well. Uh -huh. And you got I the just, whole ensemble. You got the whole oh, like yeah. chef. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you taking it serious? Chef yeah, serious. <laughs> chef yeah. El Folk, Mr. El Folk Cafe is real. It's like yeah. this is what it is. This is my life. This is my business. This is everything for me. So basically, I, I did time in prison, so it's not too easy for me to get a job. Right. So I, how I, easy was it for you to go to prison? Real easy. Real easy. I went to prison for a case I didn't even commit. Wow. I was a football player. I played football and stuff like that. I had a scholarship, came back, and police was at my door, knocking at my door, talking about a burglary. And you feel me? Just based off the area I'm around, you feel me? I, I, I got I go by rules. I can't tell on nobody if I right. know something, you feel me? I gotta I gotta accept the consequences of how it comes. I, mean, I just take my losses on how they come. I can't complain. Everything is as it should be, and I just move forward. That's inspirational, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people that may be watching didn't come from what you came from. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of people watching probably had, you know, more coming up and more yeah. support and more family and more resources. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. a lot of people can't really relate to what you went through, you know. But it's mm -hmm. it's it's crazy to see how people that that come from nothing and is able to climb up out with whatever they have. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that's yeah. that's that's commendable, bro. Appreciate you know what I mean? So now I can't wait to taste this. Like, you got something? You gonna make something for me? Yeah, I'm gonna do y'all love. I'm gonna do y'all love, man. <laughs> yes, sir. I got good French toasts for y'all, man. Yeah, Waffles, French toasts. We're about to eat some French toasts. You heard? Let's get it. Bye. Bussin' number flavors. Yeah. yeah. Bussin' number flavors. Yeah. 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 Ye
you understand that you there's a bunch of stuff that can land you in prison, a bunch of stuff that can land you dead, but you, you chose to do something else. You know what I'm saying? And you're using your day every day, going back and forth, serving the people. You know what I mean? Like, how does that make you feel? I don't mind putting in hard work, little work, small work, whatever kind of work it is. Whatever it takes to get to where I need to be, mm. I got to do that. Mm. Then from I, my end. Yeah, how does that make end, you feel? From me seeing it, him providing, him providing food in the community, due to the fact that I might can't even go away over there. I might can't go over here. Or I might don't, I can't afford it. But even the prices are very affordable huh. for his community. And due to the fact that when a nigga, when a person don't have, he know who. One thing you know, we know our folks and we know who don't have and do who do have. We'll drop off and say, here y'all go for the day. You might can't have. And I appreciate that alone from him. Mm. That he's a you know a staple in his community. The community been getting back together. We've been doing events and stuff for the kids and stuff like that, and trying to build you know unity back in the uh, community instead of having it separated and stuff like that. You know we all kind of born and raised here, so we all kind of seen each it's, other it's since kids and stuff right. like that. I've been knowing him since I was a kid. He was older and powder. You know I looked up to these type of people and stuff like that and. I just pay attention to certain peoples and certain peoples I look up to and certain peoples I just let them do their thing. Yeah. <laughs> this school ain't as good as a fuck. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. Mm. Fire. Yo. Inspirational, bro. Keep on doing that, man. Got Keep to. on doing that. Don't let nothing stop you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't got to tell you that, but if you wanted something, this right here is going to turn into a restaurant, it's going to turn into a bigger house. It's gonna turn into everything huh? that you want. Keep on hustling, oh, keep on doing that, bro. Uh, yeah. Hey, guess it, bro. What? Appreciate it. Much love. Appreciate the support. Yes, sir. Hey, hit them up. Yeah. Make sure y'all hit them hey, up. Hey, hit man. me up Thursday through Sunday. It's going down. I got everything going. French toast place, waffle place, five flavors, fruity pebble. Uh, you can get regular cinnamon, Oreo, ooh, everything, busted flavor, plus the Kool-Aid. And yeah. the Kool-Aid! Go get the Kool-Aid, baby. Them know the Kool-Aid, everything is where it's at, man. Papa, so where we going there? Man, we're going to All Flavor No Grease, man. One of my partners, one of my homeboys. Uh -huh. off of why, why is that name familiar to me? Because he started off the mud also off of 108th Street. Wow. In Watts. Uh huh. Chef, Chef Ocho, all the way 100. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to his truck. Father. What's up? Chilling. What's the deal? Chilling, chilling. How you feeling? Sit What's right good, here. bro? China Mac? Okay, All Flavor. Let's yes, sir. Heard a lot about you just now, man. Okay, it was good. Uh, it was all good. <laughs> so give me a little history, man. What's going on? I see you got a food truck. I see you doing food, but what's the what's the history to it? Okay, well, I, we want a little bit more. Let me get a little bit of history on you first. Right. All right, well, I do Mac Eats, you know what I'm saying? I came from, you know, I did prison time. I came out and I, you know, and I never looked back. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I used whatever resources I had okay. to, to, to make a better future for me. You know what I'm saying? To rewrite my story. So, you know, that's why I relate to a lot of people that, that that come from the same thing, you know what I'm saying? That has the same passion, that has that same energy, you know what I mean? So that's what I heard that you have. So I, I, I want to know a little bit more about your story. Oh, super. Well, I can relate to that a whole lot. I right. mean, I probably didn't come out the pen, you feel me? But I was tired of selling weed and shit. So I was like, God, I need something else to do. You feel me? I need something with a 401k, you feel me? I need some retirement type. So he hit me with, do what you learn how to do in school. God. <laughs> so I laughed at it, and I'm like, God told me that. I, God told me this. Yeah. Just like I'm talking to you vividly. He said, do what you learn how to do in school. So I laugh. I'm like, you know, I was the fast stanky, you feel me? Hand me down clothes, all of that. You hear me? Uh -huh. I was one of them. But I'm like, only thing I learned how to do in school was sell candy and make friends. You feel me? Uh -huh. He said, open up a candy house. Boom, I did. I capitalized. Sold everything that I sold at school. Snickers, Reese's, Twigs, crack for kids, everything. You feel me? Like, that's gummy bears and gummy worms with Kool-Aid on it. Crack for kids. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, Don't forget yeah. it. But I get the candy house going, feel me? It's about three months down the line. One of the homies, they make a bad joke. They like, you should start selling tacos. I'm like, hmm? They laughed at it. They like, you should make them how your mama make them. Lettuce, tomatoes, cheese, sour cream, ketchup, hot sauce, you'll kill them. I'm like, I'm gonna try. I capitalized one Tuesday, feel me? I looked at it. I'm like, okay, I sold out. I'm like, damn, I made $50 profit, feel me? I looked at the 50, I'm like, I'm gonna blow this up, shit. Time went on, about three months, I had a dream. 
the name All Flavor No Grease. A real came, dream. A real dream. Yeah. I woke up like three, four in the morning. All Flavor No Grease. I'm like All Flavor No Grease. All Flavor No Grease. I'm just saying it so I can remember All Flavor No Grease. So I tell my mama I wouldn't woke her up five in the morning. She like All Flavor No Grease. That's how catchy. I ran with it. I created an Instagram page where I promoted three things, which I still do to this day: food. God and positivity. Mm. Feel me? Push my line on them hard. How was it for you to, like, you know, not mess with the streets? And because where you come from, you come from Watts, right? Straight up. It's so prevalent over there, right? Like, Straight you know, up. everything is just so easy to get in trouble. How hard was it, like, for you to decide not to do that and do what you're doing and, and, and do it, you know, in the right manner? All right, I'm going to give you a physical and I'm going to give you a spiritual aspect. You feel me? I'm a very religious man and I believe in what I believe in. So if I make a vow to God, that's going to be my vow and I'm not going to break that. Right. And once I made a commitment to the Lord, I'm not going to do that no more. That's just what it is. Mm. I'm not doing it and I ain't done it. Mm. You feel me? It's been 10 years strong now. Mm. I ain't so shit. And it's been hard? Yeah, but it's been possible. So I went with the possibility. Of been, can you say that again? <laughs> I said it's been hard, but it's been possible. And through the possibilities, that's what you strive towards, the possibilities. Don't look at the obstacle because it's hard. Think about how you're going to mm. get through the obstacle. Mm. That's the solution to the problem. Mm. You hear me? But a lot of people get scared. 95% of them, they get scared on the obstacle. And that's why they fail and fall to the wayside. But the 5%, that's the important part. Yeah. They're the ones that, them the, them Yo, the wealthy you just, ones. You're giving me, I'm, I'm, I'm coming hungry, but you feeding another part of me. You feeding me? the, you know that's what I'm saying? You feeding the soul right now. You hear now. me? Because it's real though. And like I said, now we can go to the, the physical side. Like you said, for what? We are taught to survive. Mm -hmm. So I gotta survive mm -hmm. by any means necessary. Mm -hmm. I'm still, like I said, I was selling dope then, but now I'm even more on because I'm selling chickens now. Mm -hmm. Plenty of them. I got plenty of birds on here. How many mm -hmm. birds you need? How many birds? I just went to go pick up 80 of them last yes. night. Yes. Then I gotta serve to the Grammys tonight. Yes, the Grammy. So from the front yard to the Grammy yard. with a sweet and spicy barbecue chicken quesadilla. This is gonna smack you right over the chin, hard. With some sour cream in our house green sauce, which is a blend of vegetables. Green onion, bell pepper, and cilantro. Fire. Oh my God, perfectly toasted, right? You with your sweet spicy barbecue chicken quesadilla made from your very own chef Ocho from my flavor, no grease, no straight off the Ocho, no hotter than hot. Come on. Do you practice saying that? Hell no. Nah, that shit just come out. Huh? Yeah, that's straight off the dome. That's yeah. called, look, look, that's like a 7 or 11 called a natural. Bob, he was the only child. He, he talking to himself all the time. <laughs> Bob Fellini. All the talking is done. Let's look at this. Let it speak volumes for itself. Yeah, it looks flavorful already. See. Tastes okay. <laughs> Yo, how chili say it? What? How chili say it? Ooh wee! Ooh wee! Ha ha! All flavors, no grease. It's a perfect name. So many flavors going on right now. It's a little sweet, savory, uh -huh. yeah. spicy a little bit. Green sauce is healthy. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Delicious, bro. Keep here, Chef Ocho, but I don't ask. You hear me? Easy. What it is, man. This is part of Watts, man. Jordan Downs. Right now, we're in the city of Watts, man. Watts up, man. We always taught to survive, man. Definition of Watts. Appreciate it. All love and respect. Yo, so we just left the projects, Jordan Down projects. And you see, like, you know, everybody in there was black. And um, they welcomed us with open arms. Nobody gave us nothing. Nobody said anything. There wasn't no negative, you know. And they welcomed us, you know what I'm saying? So this narrative that's being pushed, like all black people hate Asian people, all Asian people hate black people. Like, I, I, I mean, I see the remnants of it, but I, I, I don't understand, like, you know, it can't be all, you know, because we walking into these situations, we walking into these places, they they, they, they welcoming us, you know what I mean? And there's, there's, there's love here, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's just, 
I just want people to see that. Like, you know, and it's not just me. It's not because my cameraman, KT, he's holding the camera right now. He Asian. You know what I'm saying? He walked in here. If it was just him, and, and as long as the right people brought you in, you know, they going to open up. They're going to they gonna treat you with respect. They're going to treat you like a man. They're going to treat you how you, 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 what your hand called for. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's what I see. You feel me?